Okay, welcome. Uh, we are at, at another installment of the Knowledge Mobilization Flash Talk series. Today, we are gonna be talking about lessons from COVID on preparing teachers for digital learning. Um, our presenter is gonna be Pallavi Shabra, who is a recent, uh, recently completed uh, doctoral uh, program from uh, curriculum instruction here at UW-Madison in the School of Education. So welcome. Um, the format, as many of you know, is that um, Dr. Tabra will be presenting for five minutes uh, on the topic, and then we'll break out into small groups and then come back together um, for about five minutes at the, at the end. Um, this is a program of the Wisconsin Center of Education Research, um, the Clinical Program and the Wisconsin Evaluation Collaborative. It's in partnership with the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction with support from uh, the US Department of Education as well. So with that, I'm gonna uh, pass it over to Dr. Shabra. Thank you so much. And we'll I'll let you take it from here. Thank you, thank you, Annalie, for a superb uh, introduction here. So thank you everyone for being here. Um, so for my, um, just, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my research and what I have learned about um, teaching practices uh, with the digital, in, in the digital environments, in the classrooms that I observed were pre-COVID classrooms. So um, my research was primarily focused to look at uh, the dispositions of pre-service teachers about using digital tools for promoting equity in the in their diverse classrooms uh, placements. Um, it was my belief that the, their dispositions are also shaping their practices or the pedagogical engagement with the, the digital devices. I use pre-survey and post-survey uh, to um, understand or uh, kind of know about their life experiences and also the support that they're receiving in their classroom placement to um, use, to learn how to use these digital um, devices. Um, the classrooms that I observed had one-to-one -one device access, and this meant that um, these teacher candidates were not only um, learning how to teach, but also learning about effective ways um, of integrating these digital tools in their future class for their future classroom practices. Um, through the interviews, I learned um, about their experiences, the challenges, and hopes that they had uh, with the use of digital tools. Um, for empowering every student in their present and their future classrooms. So some of the today, like um, the practices of teaching and learning that I ob observed, I'm gonna be focusing on those practices that I uh, noticed in, in these classrooms. Um, so, uh, and I divide them in the way of teachers using as well as uh, the other part would be the students using. So primarily the teachers use these devices as a tool for differentiation um, of the instruction of the learning material um, for the addressing the students learning needs as well as their language uh, needs. So to translate and uh, the instructions as well as the learning material. Uh, the second way the teachers I, I noticed were using uh, these uh, devices was in, in form of the learning management system to be able to um, manage the um, accessibility of the instructional material as well as the submission from the students. So they found that to be helpful. The, the last part was the, to monitor the students learning in looking at um, also keeping in mind that this is not the holistic presentation, representation of uh, a student's capacities. Um, the uh, students use um, what I noticed was mostly about doing the research on a topic um, given to the from the teachers or uh, maybe of their choosing from the list of the topics that was given to them and presenting their findings with the evidence that they have found out in the research. And uh, the other way to the, that the students use was as an assistive tool for reading. So going, you know, like this was pre-COVID classrooms and in this time of the pandemic, now going forward based on what we have faced amidst this uh, global pandemic, there are a few things, few more things that have surfaced for all of us. And these would be important to um, give attention to and really thinking about how um, we can prepare teachers for these um, post-COVID classrooms. Um, first, I would emphasize that we have learned um, that um, and I'm kind of trying to think about those empowering ways in which these digital devices could uh, be used. 
So based on our learning, we can even see that, you know, we all need that human connection. So I think that's something that we are all craving for. So the conversation, the exchange of ideas that can happen in these, um, with the use of these digital tools would be an important uh, piece to keep in mind and um, thinking about how we could um, provide those kind of opportunities in the classrooms. Um, the second would be think, uh, using the family literacies in the classrooms could be an important way to build those connections between um, the learning at school as well as learning outside of the school. And again, um, the way the digital devices could bring that connection or help that uh, connection to be a more smoother connection would be important. And finally, one of the important other ways is to think of this as not like learning just in the in this classroom, but also expanding it in a more global sense where there is an understanding and raising of awareness and also helping out from um, uh, from different parts of the world. So I would kind of say, you know, that the limits and challenges of this access of um, digitized forms of knowledge would still exist, but we can still hope that with the increased skills and knowledge that um, the students as well as the teachers are um, coming in with, uh, we will be able to utilize this opportunity to create these uh, students um, and utilize the students' participation even more and have them problem solve uh, different problems of the communities, societies, and everywhere. So these are, this is what I had for, for us to, um, from my end, but um, some of the discussion questions that I have for you to take would be, um, what do you see as the potential exemplars and challenges for teaching in digitally enabled classrooms? The second question would be, um, what forms of knowledge and resources will be necessary for teachers to teach in the digitally enabled classrooms? 